Hey guys, this is Tori Cushing with Blue Gloss, and I just want to show you this really cool tool called WeVideo. It's an online video editor, and it's really helpful for people who are new to video editing. You can start by signing up with either Facebook or just signing up with your email. Let's get started. Once you sign up, you're going to go into what's called the WeVideo dashboard. You have different projects options, media files, and accounts. Your account is where all your information is. You can also set up and link your YouTube, your Twitter, or your Vimeo to it. Let's start with importing media files. You can go to the, the tab called Media Files. I would suggest that you start importing the media files needed for the project before actually starting the project. It makes the process a whole lot simpler. You start by selecting Import Media Files, Browse, and select the files you want to import. Then you simply click Upload, and it'll be uploaded in about 5 to 10 minutes. Let's go back to the Projects tab. You can create a new project by simply clicking on the icon. I've already created a project, so let's dive in and see what I've done. Okay, here's the timeline interface. It seems complicated, but it's not as intimidating as it looks. Let's start by looking at each of the tracks. We have effects, graphics, video, and audio. The video is where your actual clips go. These are clips that I recorded from a cornhole tournament at, at the Blue Glass headquarters. You can simply drag and drop these click, clips from your My Media file. That's why I said to import them beforehand. You simply just drag and drop these in. Once you have each clip imported into your timeline, then you can edit each clip. Editing the clips is very simple. You simply click on the end or the beginning of each clip to trim it, as I just did. You can also hit the undo button or click Control Z. Each of these clips has an option called the effects option. The effects are really cool. You can go in and you can add different color filters or weird effects as many as you want actually and you can layer them on top of each other. What I like to use is also the color correction. You can correct the hue, the saturation, the brightness, and the contrast. It's a really cool tool. You can also go back in and edit these effects by clicking on the little icon. Another thing you want to do is add transitions to each of your clips. It looks awkward to go from clip to clip without a transition. So what you can do is you can go into the tab called Transitions. I like to use the crossfade or the cross blur. It's a video trick that's very subtle but gives your video a lot more of a smooth feel. Okay, next we're going to go into the graphics. There are some very cool graphics in this program. I like the one called Breaking News. So I decided to put that in at the beginning of my video. You can simply edit this by clicking on it in the preview box. You can edit the text. It's a pretty cool effect. You can also go in and edit the color of the text or the size of the text by clicking again on the effects button. You can even move this dialog box around. So let's say I wanted to make the text black. I don't, but it's a cool effect to know. Next I'm going to show you the audio. There are a lot of different audio options in this program. They have anything from sound effects to background music to disco music. It's a pretty cool selection to choose from. Okay, so you can select your audio files by either clicking on them and previewing them. Not like I exactly want a beatbox effect. But then once you preview them and you like it, then you can just drag and drop it into your timeline. You even have different tabs for different audios. So you can make a transition from a happy little song to a beatbox song. You may be wondering what these little dots and lines are. These are what you use to do fade in and fade outs. They're at the top of each of your clips. Some of them for visual aspects, they control transparency. For audio aspects, they control, well, audio. I decided to do a fade in so that the audio builds in the first second. You can also do a fade out. 
as in the transparency of the breaking news icon at the bottom of the screen. Last but not least, I wanted to show you a few graphics. They have a lot of different graphics to choose from in this program. I actually ended up really liking the end one and the screen turning off one. I decided to put them at the bottom of this video. You can also click and edit these effects in the preview video. Let's say I wanted the end to be in the center of the screen instead of the bottom, or the top, or even half off the screen. That's all an option in this preview video. You can add these effects by simply dragging and dropping them onto your timeline. Okay, let's say I wanted to add the viewfinder effect. Simply drag and drop it on the effects tab. Then I can see how my video now has the effect of a viewfinder in it with a record button and a battery and everything else. They're pretty cool effects to know. Another little cool tip is that you can adjust the audio volume of each of your clips. You simply expand each of these tabs and click on this little volume scrubber. I turned down the volume of my videos to 30% just so that we don't get a whole bunch of background noise and people talking. Okay, so once you've put in all the transitions and effects you want, then you can go and export your video. You simply do this by clicking up in the top left corner at the file and the option share and export. You have an option to export to HD for $5 without the watermark. The watermark isn't anything obtrusive, it's just in the bottom right corner and it says we video in it. I'm deciding to do it for free. Then you can click to share it to YouTube or Facebook. Then simply hit export. In just a few minutes, you will see your export show up in your YouTube account. And here's our video. Later on in this blog post, I'll show you how to optimize the, the tabs and the descriptions and even the captions in your videos. This has been Tori Cushing with Blue Glass. Thank you so much for watching this video, and good luck in your future editing adventures.